Hi there. In this video, we're going to uh, just talk a little bit about um, terminology that we use um, in Tyco. So, first of all, um, these sort of large drums, this is an example of one here, and there's another one on the upstand here. These are called a Nagado drum or a Mia Daiko drum. Um, these are some of the most common uh, Tyco drums that you'll see. Uh, we also uh, frequently use a, this, a smaller drum called a Shime or a Shime Daiko, uh, which just has a slightly higher sound. So here's the Nagado, and here's the Shime. Uh, Shima Daiko can be really useful because it cuts above the, uh, the depth of the Nagado sound, so it's useful for calling changes to rhythms and to pieces. Um, the drumsticks that we use, if you've watched the video on the drumsticks, you'll already know that these are called bachi. Uh, that's just a Japanese word for drumstick. Um, and we have a couple of words that we use. The main one that we use, and you'll hear this quite a lot throughout these videos, is sore. Um, and it's, uh, it really just means, here we go, let's begin. It doesn't have a direct translation. Um, but it's frequently used in Taiko, uh, almost as a counting, like a three, four, and off we go. So it sets the pace, so, re, dong, and we're playing. Um, so it's really just a sound that we use to bring everybody in together. Um, and when we're doing sessions with groups of people face to face, we often finish a taiko session um, with the phrase otsukare sama deshita. Um, and this just means you must be honourably tired. But within that sentiment uh, um, is an acknowledgement of the, um, the effort that it takes to um, play taiko and the fact that the, um, the activity itself is an honourable one. It's an honourable way to tire ourselves out. Uh, so once again, that word is otsukare samadeshita. If you'd like to practice it, take it in two halves. Otsukare samadeshita.